hey 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 welcome back to my channel guys if this is your first time stopping by thank you so much for stopping by and this video is a part of a playlist being hosted by tammy of happiness created and jackie of crafting in mimi's world now don't forget to head on down to the description box and check out those channels i'll leave those links down below as well as a link to the playlist further ado let's jump into the video for this diy you're going to need a roll of yarn you're going to need some jute diluted mod podge a balloon i blew this up you're going to need something to catch your liquid in so i'm going to start by just wrapping the balloon i'm going to start right here So I'm just making sure I have leverage in terms of stability with the jute and how many times I wrap it down before I start going in the other direction. And you want to do it as tight as possible so that it doesn't sag. All right, so now that I have enough I believe I have enough going this way. I'm going to start going around just arbitrarily any direction. And you also, like I said before, you want to make sure that you are wrapping it tight enough, not too tight where it's going to be pressured in terms of don't giving you any leeway where you want if you have to move the jute, but you're wrapping it tight enough so it remains in a ball. I think this is enough. All right, so we're gonna cut this. And when I cut, I like to secure the end in like this. Let's tuck it in. So when you're finished with this, this can serve as your pumpkin as well as a decorative jute ball for your home decor. You can either leave it for the fall season or harvest or all year round, it doesn't matter. This ball is very big. I've made smaller decorative jute balls. I'll leave the card for that video up above. You can check that out. This is bigger because I want it to look like a pumpkin. So I'm using more jute twine for this one. So now we're ready to immerse. I'm going to rest this on the inside. All right. You want to lift it up a little bit so that it's not running over and messing the place up. I'm messing up your work surface. Here's the thing guys, I believe I have immersed it enough. Now, you can do one of two things, which I think this option might be the best at this point because I want this to dry along with it. You can either add this for some stripes while it's wet or you can add it after it's dry. But I'm gonna add it while it's wet, so let's do this. So I'm going to go around the pumpkin just like this. And when I think I've had, I've had enough stripes, I can then even them out, space them out evenly. And then I'll go around again a second time. So I'm giving each one two stripes. I am going to leave this overnight to dry properly. Hey, hey, hey! Guess what, guys? It's the next day, and now we are ready to burst our balloon. Ooh, that sounds great. Look at how sturdy this is. I'm loving this. I have fun making jute balls, so let me just be careful with this to make sure I'm pulling this the balloon through properly, and I'm not cutting the jute all right so i'm just gonna cut this off i'm just gonna leave this little piece right there so now we're ready to decorate i had made this for another diy so i'm reusing it so i'm just gonna place this on top of here and there and then this on top of it this i cut this from the decorative ribbon from the dollar tree and i'm just gonna use this as my stem all right, so we're going to glue this on and then we're going to put this. If you're going to be using this for another season, you can just easily remove these 
your choice you can remove the yarn or you can leave it as is I'm gonna leave mine as is because it's I would say it blends in quite well with the natural jute cord For this DIY, this one is so easy. I'm using this mason jar. I believe um, salsa came in this jar. And this piece of fabric, I had used it already and now I'm reusing it. So what I'm doing, I'm just taking the sides up and folding them in pleats on top of the jar. And once I've folded all the ends, I'm gonna wrap, wrap them around. You wanna make sure you're tucking everything in properly. And I'm just wrapping it to keep it intact. And once I've wrapped it, I'm gonna use a piece of jute twine to secure it, wrap it around tightly. And then I'm going to wrap all the way to the tip of the cloth. And that's forming my stem for this pumpkin. And that piece that's sticking out there, yes, it bugged me all the time that I was doing this, but I'm gonna fix that in a little bit. So once I wrapped it around, I took a piece of masking tape just to secure it, the end. And like I said, this was so easy, it took me under 10 minutes to complete. If you're coming over from the playlist, I'm happy to have you visit my channel. Please consider subscribing. And if you are my subscribers, please consider visiting the other channels and liking and subscribing to those videos on the playlist. And when I got to the tip of the stem, I just snipped that off and used some hot glue to glue that down. And I'm now folding in the piece that's hanging out there and I'm gonna use this from a Dollar Tree floral to just cover that section. And there you have it, this pumpkin is done. Now this DIY number four is a straw bale. I got this at the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna use a piece of pine cone, an old undergrown pine cone that I picked up outside. This I came from a Dollar Tree pumpkin and I'm just gonna glue that to the side and then I'm going to glue some maple leaf to glue that on top and then I'm gonna glue the pine cone secure that now it wasn't standing up firmly so I took a piece of jute twine and wrapped it around afterwards off camera to secure that Now this is a bonus clip. This is a pumpkin I did for another video. I'm gonna leave the card, you can check that out, but I just decided to show you it's an unusual pumpkin. This pumpkin is serving as a vase. I'll just leave the card, you can see how I put this together in that video. So there you have it guys, unusual pumpkin for this fall season. This just goes to show that you can take anything that you find around your home and, and turn it into a pumpkin. If you like content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel by hitting that subscription button and that notification bell so YouTube notifies you whenever I upload a new video. And to keep watching, I recommend this video right here as well as this playlist. And don't forget to hop on down to the description box and check out the playlist with the other creators. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.